Good morning, viewers. Welcome to the session devotion of this morning. By the grace of God, we're looking at the topic the place of divine visions and revelations. One more time, topic the place of divine visions and revelations. Host Mahamrus Luke the Kepas, text taken from the book of Daniel, chapter 1, from verse 17 to 19. But let's pray before we begin. Heavenly Father, we thank you for an opportunity to be alive this morning. We come before your word, for that we are speak to us and grant us understanding. Grant us grace to become to us of your word, and not hear us on me, but in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Topic one more time The place of divine visions and revelations. Host Mahamrus Luke the Kepas, text taken from the book of Daniel. Chapter 1 from verse 17 down to 19. I read from verse 17. Daniel chapter 1 from verse 17. As for this, as for these four children, God will give them knowledge and skill in all learning and wisdom. And Daniel had understanding in all visions and dreams. Verse 19. And the king came in with them, and among them all was found none like Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah. Therefore stood they before the king. May the Lord bless his word grounds understanding as we continue in Jesus name for the reading Genesis chapter 15 from verse 1 to 18 verse 1 said after this thing the word of the Lord came unto Abraham in the vision saying fear not Abraham I am thy shield and the exceeding great reward and the Lord began to give Abraham instructions I pray that the Lord will appear to you in visions in dreams and revelations and grant you direction in Jesus name for the reading Genesis 46 verse 2 down to 5 verse 2 precisely said and God spoke unto Israel in a vision in the visions of the night and said unto Jacob Jacob and he said here am I I pray the Lord will appear to you no more careless sleep before you in Jesus name Psalm chapter 1 from verse 1 to 3 said blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly nor standeth in the way of sinners nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful but his delight in the law of the Lord and the Lord does he meditate day and night I pray as you sit down, those words of the Lord you read will begin to give you inspirations, begin to give you revelations and visions in Jesus. And verse 3 said, And it shall be like a tree planted by rivers of water that bring forth its fruit in the season. His leaf also shall not wither, whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. You can further read Leviticus chapter 26 from verse 3 down to 13. We go off time, we can read that. Acts of the Apostles chapter 10 from verse 1 to 25. All the account of Cornelius that sent for Peter. And of course, the vision that Peter had. You can read all of that at your leisure time. May the Lord bless his word in Jesus' name. One more time topic the place of divine visions and revelations. Host Luke Kepas. Text taken from Daniel chapter 1, from 17 to 19. You can read that before the reading Genesis chapter 15, 1 to 18, Genesis 46, 2 to 5, Leviticus chapter 26, from 3 to 13, Psalm chapter 1, from verse 1 to 3, and Acts of the Apostle chapter 10, from verse 1 to 25. Please read all of these Bible passages. You will definitely be blessed in Jesus' name. Thinking cap. A man blue word for this morning is a man can only become what divinity shows him. Take that again. A man can only become what divinity shows him. Think about this. Today we'll look at the topic, the place of divine vision and revelation. We shall double our teaching series for the week. So please, I implore you to stay connected with us on this platform. You will be blessed all through this week and beyond in Jesus' name. By introduction, vision and revelation is key to a man's destiny's recovery and adventure in life. Man was designed and created for the top, to rule, to dominate the earth. But all of those projections will only come to reality when a man's inner eye is well lighted. And because no man can ever arrive at the future he cannot see, God designed the mystery of visions and revelations to show man his future from his position. The poor Gideon and Nehemiah, make to, just to make a reference, the poor Gideon and Nehemiah never knew that they were great, they were great men, that there was greatness in them until they encountered visions and revelations. I pray the Lord will make you see something greater than you are where you are and greater than yourself in the name of Jesus. Just like the way the Lord opened unto Gideon and Nehemiah vision, the Lord will open unto you in Jesus' name. Genesis chapter 1 from verse 26 to 31 you can read the account of how man was created. The Lord said, let us make man in our image after our likeness. After what we have seen, let us make man. So we are created out of visions and revelations. And I pray you walk in that reality all the days of your life in Jesus name. Judges chapter 6 from verse 11 to 14. And there came an angel of the Lord and sat upon an hawk 
which was in the opera that pertained onto Joash, the Asherite, and his son Gideon trashed wheat by the uh, van priest to hide it from the media Midianite. Verse 12. And the angel of the Lord appeared unto him and said unto him, The Lord is with thee, thou mighty man of valor. And little Gideon, verse 13. And Gideon said unto him, Oh my God, if thou be with us, why then is all this befalling us? And where be all his miracles which our father told us of? Saying, Did not the Lord bring us up from Egypt? But now the Lord hath forsaken us and delivered us in the hands of the Midian. And we all leave the end of the story. He said, Thou shalt deliver Israel. As one man, and we saw Gideon with a little army went and brought victory to the city of Israel. I pray the Lord will appear to you in visions and He will take you to the top in Jesus. And Nehemiah chapter 1, verse 1 to 11, Nehemiah 6 5, Nehemiah uh, 6 15, rather, Nehemiah chapter 5, verse 14 to 19. Time will not permit me to read that, but in summary, Nehemiah had that. His brethren were taken captive, he wept, he cried, he fasted and prayed. And took permission from the king in the next chapter chapter 2 to go deliver the city to go rebuild the city and the king gave him all that he required and in chapter 6 verse 15 in 52 days just 52 days the city of a nation was built and we all knew how he achieved that the law showed him revelation what clearly to the I pray the law will take it to the top in Jesus name Isaiah chapter 2 verse 1 and 3 the word of the law the word that Isaiah, the son of Amos, saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem. You will see something this morning in Jesus' name. Verse 2 said, And it shall come to pass in the last days that a mountain of the Lord's house shall be established in the top of the uh, top of the mountain and shall be exalted above the hills, and all nations shall flow into it. Verse 3 said, And many people shall go and say, Come ye, and let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the God of Israel, to the God of Jacob, and he will teach us of his ways, and we will walk in his path. For out of Zion shall go for the law and the word of the law from Jerusalem. You are ever at the top where you belong in Jesus' name. Very quickly, the place of divine vision. What is the place of divine vision and revelation all about? What is the place of divine vision and revelation all about? It is the place of defense and safety. Can you repeat that after me? It is the place of what? Defense and safety. Discipline refers to God bringing us into his zone of ultimate defense, protection, and safety. Absolutely, as we've seen in Leviticus chapter 23 from verse 3 to 13. And if ye walk in my status and keep my commandment and do them, then I will give you rain in due season, and the land shall yield an increase, and the trees of the field shall yield their fruit, and their threshing shall reach unto the vintage, and the vintage shall reach unto the sowing time, and ye shall eat your bread to, to the full, and dwell in your land safely. Say, I will give you peace in the land, and ye shall lie down, and none shall make you afraid. You can complete all of that scripture down to verse 13. We all know the calamities happening across the globe today. A lot of issues here and there, banditry, uh, terrorism, lack and war, insecurity and all that. But the Lord have guaranteed for you and I safety and defense. And that's where he's taking you to. Daniel chapter 1 from verse 17 down to 21. The account of Daniel there. He said, Daniel wisdom. He said, as for this fortune, and God gave the knowledge and skill in all learning and wisdom. And Daniel had understanding all visions and dreams. Now at the end of the days that the king had said he would bring them forth, they came forth, they spoke before the king, they were ten times better than their colleagues. Look at what happened in verse 19, precisely verse 20 said, And in all matters of wisdom and understanding that the king inquired of them, he found them ten times better than all the magicians and astrologers that were in all this realm, verse 21. And Daniel continued on to the first year of King Cyrus. The Lord will take it to the top in Jesus' name. Habakkuk chapter 2, 2 to 4. And the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision and made it clear upon tables that he may run the bed. Verse 3 said, For the vision is yet an appointed time. But at the end you shall speak and not lie. Don't tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. I decree one more time. The Lord will take it to the top by himself in Jesus' name. Don't forget Proverbs 28, 29, 18 said, Where there is no vision, the people perish. But he that keepeth the law, happy is he. The Lord will show you visions. The Lord will show you revelation. And the Lord will take you to the top 
in Jesus' name. First Corinthians chapter 12, verse 1 to 4. Now concerning spiritual, dear brethren, I will not have you ignorant. Ye know that ye are Gentiles. Ye know ye were Gentiles carried away unto these dumb idols, even as ye were led. Wherefore I give you to understand that no man speaketh by the Spirit of God called Jesus are cursed, and that no man can say that Jesus is the Lord but by the Holy Ghost. As Paul said, now there are diversities of gift, but the same Spirit. These are diversity of administration, but the same Lord. I pray the Lord will open your eyes to see that which He has for you in Jesus' name. One more time, what the place of divine vision and revelation all about? What does this stand for us? The place of visions, the place of divine vision and revelation is the place of defense. And safety, which we said discipline means, or this will be fast to God, bringing us into the zone of ultimate defense, protection, and safety. We can read that in Leviticus chapter 26, from verse 3 to 13, Daniel chapter 1, 17 to 21, Habakkuk 2 to 4, Proverbs 29, verse 18, and lastly, 1 Corinthians chapter 12, from verse 1 to 4. Please, you can read that at your leisure time. May you be blessed as you do that in Jesus' name. Lastly, until we encounter divine visions and revelations, our lives will be limited. Man's great destiny in life is always at the mercy of as far as his eyes can see. Meaning, one can only become what he can see. So if you can't see anything, you will become nothing. More to vision is true salvation in Christ. More to vision is true in salvation with Christ. Which brings us to the realm of glorious visions and revelations in life. And as such, I call you to confess and accept Jesus to be your Lord and your Savior. So he will bring you into the realm of visions and revelations for your life and for your destiny. You are right at the top where you belong at creation in Genesis 1 26 to 31 in Jesus' name. Genesis chapter 15, from verse 1 down to 6 said, After this, thing, the word of the Lord came to Abraham in a vision, saying, Fear not, Abraham, and that shall I give you reward. And Abraham said, I go childless, Lord, what will you give me? And the Lord said, I will give you a seed. And thou four, verse 4 said, And behold, the word of the Lord came unto you, saying, This shall not be thy hire, but he that shall come forth out of thy own bowels shall be thy hire. And he brought him forth abroad and said, Look towards heaven and tell the stars. You were able to number them, so shall you be able to number your seed. And he believed in the Lord and he counted unto him for righteousness. The Lord will take you to the top in Jesus' name. Genesis 31, from verse 11 to 12. And the angel of the Lord spoke unto me in a dream, saying, Jacob. And I said, Here am I. And it was 12. And he said, Lift around thy eyes and see all the rams they leap upon the cattle that reached to and sparkled and blessed it. For I have seen all that labor and do it unto thee. And we all know Jacob left the, ham, the house of labor and grew rich in all cattle and all that. Because God showed him what to do through a vision. Isaiah 60, 1 to 2. To arise, shine, for the light is come and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. Uh, said, and behold, the darkness shall cover thee and gross darkness of the people. But the Lord shall arise upon thee and his glory shall be seen upon thee. In this season of gruesome darkness, you and your family will stand out in the name of Jesus. No one will hurt you. No one will hurt your family. No paramilitary, no Boko around, no evil headsmen will attack you. No kidnappers will see you in the name of Jesus. And down the verse uh, 22 said, A little one shall become a thousand, a small one, a strong nation. Ah, the Lord will hasten to perform this time. John chapter 14, 6 to 7. Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one coming to the Father but by me. He said, Ye have known me, ye have known my Father also. And from henceforth ye know him, ye have seen him. The, uh, Galatians 3, Christ of him. He was from the cause of the Lord. I want to pray with you if you are interested. Place your hand, place your hands on your chest, bow your head. I repeat this prayer after me. See after me, Lord Jesus. See after me, Lord Jesus. I come to you this morning. I know I'm a sinner. And I appreciate your glory in every aspect of my life. Have mercy upon me, Jesus. Forgive me my sins. Wash me with your blood. Write my name in the book of life. Thank you, Jesus, for receiving me. Thank you for writing my name in the book of life. Let my name never be erased from that book until I see you at the end of my journey at a very old age. For in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Congratulations to you. If you take that prayer, I will take two prayers and we shall die first. Father, in this season, take me to my place of great vision and revelation for my defense against the evil. Of this age in the name of Jesus. Leviticus chapter 26, from verse 6 to 7. And I will give peace in the land, and ye shall lie down, and none shall make thee afraid. I will read evil beasts out of the land, neither shall a sword go through your land. Verse 7 said, And ye shall chase your enemies, and they shall fall before you by the sword. 
for this understanding sake this prayer path in the season of darkness and evil take me to my place of great visions and revelations my defense against the evil of this age in the name of jesus christ father in this season take me to my place of great visions and revelations for my defense against evil of this age for in jesus name we pray in the last prayer father bless the same with the spirit of vision and revelations for the security of our various destinies in you in the name of jesus psalm chapter 1 1 3 said blessed the man that walketh unto the castle of the ungodly and stand in the way of sin and conceit and sin and scuffle but his delay in the love of the lord in the law does imitate day and night shall be like tree planted by rivers of water father bless the saint with the spirit of vision and revelations for the security of our various destinies in you in the name of jesus thank you for hearing us for in jesus name we pray to we pray this prayer share this gospel and be blessed from intercession and ministry god bless you see you tomorrow as we continue this teaching series god bless you thank you for your time in jesus name.